In this module, we will look at thermal conductivity of food and other materials. Thermal conductivity gives us a quantitative way to express a material's ability to conduct heat. Uh, those items that have a high value of thermal conductivity will allow more heat to conduct through them. Now, foods are generally not very good in conducting heat. But the equipment used to heat or cool foods must have good heat conducting properties. Consider a cookware used in a kitchen. The bottom of a pan must conduct heat quickly if we do not want to spend too much time cooking. Many manufacturers use layers of different materials uh, such as stainless steel, aluminum and copper uh, so that we can get high rates of heat transfer uh, through the bottom of the pan. First, we are going to get a basic understanding of this property by examining its units. Thermal conductivity is expressed by a symbol K and the units of thermal conductivity are joules divided by seconds meter degree Celsius. These units tell us that if an object, for example a slab, is uh, one meter thick and the temperature difference across its opposing faces is uh, one degree Celsius, then the thermal conductivity is the number of joules that will conduct through this slab per second. So if the value of thermal conductivity of a material is 15, it means that 15 joules will be able to conduct in one second if the object is one meter thick and the temperature difference across that object across the two faces is one degree C. Now we also know that one joule per second is one watt. So we can write the units for thermal conductivity in a more compact way as watts per meter degree Celsius. Let's look at thermal conductivities of some common materials. So here we have a thermal conductivity of metals. Uh, the range is anywhere from 50 to 400 watts per meter degree C. Alloys, the thermal conductivity is from 10 to 120. Thermal conductivity of water is uh, 0 0.597 watts per meter degree Celsius at 20 degrees C. And for air, it's really low. It's 0 0.0251 watts per meter degree Celsius at 20 degrees C. Now, most insulating materials, the thermal conductivity value ranges from 0 0.035 to 0 0.173 watts per meter degree Celsius. As we see in this table, thermal conductivity of metals is very high compared to air. In fact, air has one of the lowest thermal conductivities. This fact is used in making insulating materials. Insulating materials are nothing but a solid material with lots of air embedded in it, for example styrofoam. The value of thermal conductivity for insulating materials is always higher than that of air because of the other solid materials present in that matrix. Thermal conductivity of water is 0 0.597 at 20 degrees Celsius. Note that we list thermal conductivities of fluids, that is air and water, in terms of their temperature. Thermal conductivity of a substance varies with temperature. For most solid materials, the variation for temperature ranges that are important in food processing, the thermal conductivity value does not really change much. But for fluids, it does change appreciably. Therefore, we will use tables for different temperatures to obtain thermal conductivity of air and water. Now, if you wanted to quickly estimate thermal conductivity of a high moisture food, such as strawberries, 
we will expect that its th thermal conductivity will be close to that of water. Whereas if we were to estimate thermal conductivity of freeze-dried strawberries, then the value will be closer to that of air. Keep this in mind when you look at a value of thermal conductivity and you want to make a judgment whether that value sounds reasonable or not. In calculations involving thermal processes, we often need a value of thermal conductivity of food or materials that contact food such as metals, water or air. Now one approach to finding out a value of thermal conductivity is to look up for that value in various books and papers. Often books on heat transfer have tables, usually in the appendices, that contain thermal conductivity values. For foods, the available data may be more limited.